I'm Melissa. I'm a freelance uh, oil painter. I paint mostly landscapes and seascapes. You can see here, they are all the mountains that I have. Painting has been something that I do since young. I have been very curious about colours. When I was younger, people played a lot in the playgrounds, but I'm always at home with my paper, with my crayon, with my colour pencils. When I proceed with my education, we have art classes, which I really enjoy. Matterhorn is the most iconic. I believe everybody should know because it's on the Toberon chocolate. Switzerland holds a very special place to me because at the age of 19, I went to Switzerland to intern as a food microbiologist with my best friend. So we created a lot of uh, memories there. But unfortunately, we didn't have the time to travel to Matterhorn because it takes a very long time to travel there. I hope next time in the future, I get the opportunity to go back to Switzerland. I will visit uh, Matterhorn. Yeah. Mostly I paint landscapes, so I think having a sky is essential because it helps to set the mood, the atmosphere, and it also greatly affects the other element of in the painting. So for example, if I were to paint a sunset with still water, so water should reflect the darker shade of the sunset. And likewise, if I paint a bright blue sky, the other elements such as the tree, the mountain, should also follow a brighter color palette, so everything would make sense. There's no specific message that I want to convey through my art pieces, but I feel art should be open, should be free uh, for everyone to connect with, to interact with. Like human beings, we are all individual, we are all special and unique in our own way. And with the story and background, this shapes the way that we think as well as we perceive things. I will be more than happy for anyone to can just draw inspiration or message that they can draw from my artwork. For me, a painting is a composition of different colour puzzles. So when my brush strokes of colours builds up into individual different colour puzzles, and when they piece together, all the elements start to appear unknowingly, and this is where everything falls into place, like what I have imagined. I never plan my pieces of art, they are all random. I get my ex inspirations from images and pictures online and at first sight when I feel there is a strong connection, an impulse, a longing for me that makes me and ignite me, motivate me to paint these images into paintings and also since young I think randomness has always been with me. I mostly use oil paint on my canvases, even though it takes a lot of effort to clean up with all the solvents and to recondition my brush every time, but I think more importantly is to enjoy the process. Therefore, I really enjoy the process painting with oil and I love the finishing that the oil colours give and also because oil in general, they dry slower, so it gives me more time to do my blending, which I do a lot of blending, like all the gradients in the sky, in the waters time to hone and really touch up on the painting to perfect my work. I think with landscapes, I definitely have to choose muted colour as my general palette, my first palette. But of course, I do enjoy painting with some vibrancy because it does help me to attain the atmosphere that I want to achieve in my paintings. But I really can't choose, I want to choose both, but if I have to choose, I have to choose the muted colour ones. Mm -hmm.